do your wireless earbuds suck? Do you feel like they don't sound quite right or they're not performing the way you'd expect? Well, if that sounds like you, then you've come to the right video because I'm about to give you four reasons why your wireless earbuds might suck and also how to fix it. Reason number one, maybe you're just not getting the right fit. Now, this is actually one of the most common reasons why people might think their wireless earbuds are not performing quite right. Because the truth is that not all wireless earbuds fit everybody's ears. And I don't care how many times Apple tries to boast about their one size fits all approach to earbud design, maybe you're just not getting the right fit and that's okay. Here's an example. I own the AirPods Pro 2, but I find that even though they're comfortable in my ears, they kind of sit loosely in my ear. Whereas my colleague Chase, for him, the earbuds sit perfectly in his ears. They don't really move that much, even if he's moving his head around vigorously while exercising. So if you feel like fit is the issue, then there are a couple of things you should try before you give up on your earbuds. First off, Find the box for your earbuds and take a look at the ear tips that may have come with your earbuds. I know this might sound a little tedious, but if you go into the box of your earbuds and try out the different sized ear tips, and even if you just spend five or 10 minutes on this, it can make a world of difference. The default ear tips don't really fit everybody right out of the box, so please take the time and try different sizes. It's like when you go shopping for clothes. You might not necessarily just land on a large, maybe you need extra large because you're in a different country and blah, blah, blah. Think of ear tips like clothes, so try. And hey, at least manufacturers put different sized ear tips in their earbud boxes for free. So actually it's not free, it comes with it, you pay for it. Yeah. It's free real estate, try it. <laughs> Secondly, whether you're using different size ear tips or the default ear tips, if your earbuds come with this feature, try to use the earbuds fit test feature. I know Apple has this for the AirPods Pro. If you go into the settings, you can run a test to see whether or not you've got the optimal fit. I believe Sony also has an ear tip fit test and even budget earbuds are starting to have the in-app fit test in their apps. So definitely use that as a guide for whether or not you should go a size up or size down for your ear tips for your earbuds, yeah. Now, if those don't work, then you should also consider third-party options. Maybe your earbuds only come with silicone ear tips, kind of like with the AirPods Pro 2. If you want a better fit, you may consider getting memory foam ear tips from a company like Comply or from any of the myriad of companies that make ear tips and sell it on Amazon. And beyond third-party ear tips, you could also consider other accessories that help you get a more secure fit, like ear hooks or ear fins. For example, when I'm at the gym, I actually have to put on ear fins for my AirPods Pro 2 because they fall out of my my ears without them. And those are like, I think $15 for a pair on Amazon, even cheaper. You could probably get even better deals from other brands. So definitely take a look at the third party market, see if there are accessories for your earbuds. Cause Hey, maybe those can actually help you get a better fit and hopefully lead to better performance, better sound and better ANC performance. Reason number two, why your earbuds might suck is because they're dirty. You dirty, dirty boy. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> The truth is a lot of people forget to clean their earbuds. And unfortunately, as you use your earbuds every day, wax and other debris can build up over time in front of the speaker driver. And when this happens, the obstructions, AKA the wax and other debris can affect aspects like the adaptive EQ because the inward facing microphones are measuring anomalous readings or just doesn't sound quite right. And also this debris just blocks the speaker driver in general, which again could be contributing to why your earbuds may not sound the same as when you first got them. So if your white earbuds are looking a little yellow, then I think the answer here is pretty obvious. It's time to clean them. And if you wanna know how to clean your earbuds, I highly recommend going into your user manual or going to your manufacturer's website to find the cleaning instructions or visit soundguys.com for some cleaning advice for some of the most popular earbuds out there like the AirPods Pro 2. Link should be up here, right there. Reason number three your earbuds might suck because you haven't tried to equalize or EQ your earbuds. This is one of the easiest and cheapest ways to try and improve the sound quality of your earbuds. In fact, I think it's even cheaper than cleaning your earbuds because you have actually have to pay for alcohol and Q-tips. The app is free, so try it. So if you have earbuds that have this feature in their app, go ahead, download the app and use it. You can either 
try and experiment with the equalizer in, in your app, or a lot of apps nowadays have what they call a sound quiz, where they kind of run you through different EQ presets, you choose which one you like, and then by the end of the quiz, you end up with a kind of custom tuned sound profile that suits your listening preferences. I know for sure the Sony Headphones Connect app has this. So if you own maybe like the Sony XM5 earbuds, definitely give this a whirl. And I think Anchor too. I think the Anchor Soundcore app has this for their earbuds. So please, please, please give it a shot. Now, if your earbuds don't come with an equalizer in the app, you could also see if you could use other apps to equalize your earbuds. For example, Wavelet on Android, you should be able to create a custom EQ for yourself that can be applied system wide. If you use a streaming service like Spotify, the iOS version of the app actually has an equalizer built in. So you can go into that and actually experiment and see what works for you. Now, if you're not using Spotify or you're using earbuds without an equalizer, <clears throat> Apple AirPods, <clears throat> then what you could do is also go into the accessibility settings and kind of mess around with the tuning there because I believe Apple has something called hearing accommodations, which kind of tunes the earbuds to sound brighter and whatnot. I can put a screenshot here on the screen, but it is kind of like a sneaky way to try and adjust the sound to your liking if you so choose. So give that a shot. if if you don't have any other options. Again, it's kind of like with the ear tip fit test, equalizing may take a bit of time out of your day to do, but once you do it, you'll be very, very pleased with the results. Hopefully, maybe. Just give it a shot, okay? Fourth and final reason why your earbuds may suck is because the connection sucks. Maybe you're getting constant dropouts. Maybe only one earbud seems to pair with your phone when you obviously want both earbuds to work. Maybe it's stuttering, lagging, et cetera, et cetera. These things happen in the wireless world. Fortunately, there are two ways that I know to fix this. First off, if your earbuds support this, you can go into the app and choose the low latency mode or prioritize stable connection mode. I know for Sony earbuds, there is the option to prioritize stable connection. So I highly recommend going into your earbuds app and trying to find a setting similar to that. And if all else fails, a good old factory reset tends to fix a lot of these connection issues, at least for me. So if your app doesn't have those prioritized connection options, then highly recommend just giving it a good old factory reset. And if all else fails, maybe talk to the manufacturer, maybe it's defective, you can get a refund or a replacement or something. Now, if you've already tried to fix your true wireless earbuds and realize it's time to throw them away and get something new, then I highly recommend checking out our list for the best true wireless earbuds, which you can find in this video right here.